couple of days ago, I made a poll on my community tab uh, asking uh, this particular question. What port does your computer connect to when you visit google.com on your browser for the very first time? And I gave the options port 80, port 443, port 53, and port 21. And uh, obviously, as you say, the most common answer with 47% is port 443. And actually, the most appropriate answer here and i say appropriate not necessarily correct uh, for this particular configuration is actually for 53 and i'm gonna explain why that is and i'm gonna then contradict myself and discuss situations where even that might not be true in certain configurations right in the default configurations maybe but in certain configurations, it could be so com something completely different. How about we unpack that and start discussing this? This is a very, very interesting thing. So let's explain what these ports are. Port 80 is basically the vanilla unencrypted HTTP. That's the default, essentially, right? Doesn't mean that you cannot spin up a server that is listening on any other port that happens to be HTTP. Same thing for 443. Four, four, That's the default HTTPS. That means this is the HTTP protocol, but is actually encrypted with TLS effectively, right? But does it mean that uh, any other port couldn't be HTTPS, right? You can effectively uh, spin up any server and encrypt it, have it serve some certificate and have TLS 1.2 or more uh, enabled. And as a, as a result, you're going to get an HTTPS protocol, right? Port 53 is effectively the DNS default port effectively right and finally port 21 i just added it as a troll then it's the ftp port so it has nothing to do with the browser plus ftp clients were disabled in chrome and most browsers i think so yeah so what do we do when we type google.com and hit enter for the very first time that's the only reason i added for the very first time is because you need the ip address of that domain that you need to connect to in order to connect to something right whether establishing a tcp connection or a udp quick connection you need to know the ip address right in order to do that you need to perform a dns query effectively and that could be done by asking your local dns recursor which usually is running on port 53. does that mean that's always the case no you could configure your router to run a custom DNS, right? We see a lot of people use Pi-hole, for example, and run on any port you want and have that as your default DNS, right? Doesn't mean that's always the case. That's why I said most appropriate answer is 53 for most people. And once you get that IP address, now you need to know which port you need to connect to. You might say this is web, Hussein. Yeah, it's web, but remember, I said google.com. I didn't say https colon slash slash google.com or http colon slash slash google.com. We did not specify the protocol, so the browser has to guess. If we specify the protocol, there's no problem. If the user actually typed in https, then we know the answer. For the longest time, the web has never been encrypted for the very longest time. It's very recently for the past 10 years that we started encrypting things and we started running servers on port 443 right so by default browsers were always connected if you don't specify the protocol we always connect to http because that's safer right because we know every every website should have http port 80 by default enabled but not necessary for 43 this in 2022 this is basically shifting and completely different now a lot of websites are encrypted by default too chrome and other websites are actually making the shift to make 443 the default port that you connect to when you don't specify effectively a protocol while we make that transition right there's something that was invented called hsts HTTP strict transport security. I talked about it in a video here if you wanted one more. But effectively, this is a, uh, this is two part. This tells the browser that, hey, I know you connected to me through port 80, but I prefer 443. I prefer security. I prefer HTTPS. So in the future, for the next X amount of seconds or X amount of days, 
please always connect to me to HTTPS. That is one portion. And another portion is there is a loaded list in the browser that has all the domains that happens to support HTTPS by default, right? That ships with the browser. Google is usually one of them. Google.com, last time I checked, wasn't in the list. www.google.com was in the list and that's that's something i talked about is and i have no idea why i think it might have been fixed but that's something i noticed as well so that means if your site supports https and the browser have for the first time right we don't know then we also connect to port 80 because we don't know we can't assume that so we connect to port 80 and then we receive the content and either we get a redirect alongside an https uh header response header that tells us hey for the future connect in https so next time you do that your dns will be cached so you won't need to connect to 53 cached locally that is and then you're going to be connected to 443 so to summarize if it's the first time we have to know the ip address so we send a udp packet to port 53 to the dns recursor address and ha that has to be an ip address right you cannot put a domain name because you're going to get into a loop oh what's the ip address of that dns resolver you get into this loop that's why most dns resolvers recursors are 1111 8888 or whatever right that's basically the why dns is like that. once you send that udp packet to to that ip address of the dns recursor and port 53 you're going to get back the answer Obviously, the DNS recursor might have that answer cached. It might not have, right? So it needs to go back to the, eventually to, does all this stuff goes to the root and then the top level domain and then goes to the authoritative VM server and then until we get the answer. Once we get the answer, we turn around and then establish what is the protocol. We know the protocol, it's 80, then it has to be HTTP. That means we have to send a TCP SYN packet effectively right has to be tcp http is always tcp right but if it's 443 then what do we do here's here's the interesting part if it's https and port 443 it could either be tcp or udp right because of the new thing that's called quick right so how how browsers solve this is they assume tcp right so they connect to the tcp Right? So they establish the TLS, they send the handshake, and then so during the handshake, the ALPN, the response will say, hey, uh, by the way, I support HTTPS, HTTP 3, so quick, you can connect to me through UDP quick, effectively, on the same port, just send me UDP next, if you understand how to talk quick. And that also, I believe, uh, is added into the alternative service response header for future use. Hey, for the future, do that. So yeah, it's not as simple as it sounds. So, all right. So let's contradict my point now and says, okay. All right. So the answer is appropriately is 53. But that's the unencrypted DNS, right? Which is basically the default, which is a safe answer. But some users might actually, which I didn't specify in the question, I didn't say any of that. So some of you might could have called me out on that. It says, hey, you didn't specify the what, what kind of DNS. I have DOH. I have DNS over HTTPS enabled on my Firefox, for example, or my Chrome. I use DNS over HTTPS. That means if I do that, then the DNS query, right, will go through a web traffic effectively. So we're going to send a TCP segment. First, we're going to establish a TLS connection with whatever DOH dns recursor and on port what because it's dns over https we're going to connect to port 443 not google's 443 this is the dns over https server recursor server right so maybe cloudflare we're going to connect to port 443 so the answer in that case might be actually 443 right so for people actually answered 443 you're you might be right too if that's what you meant, right? <laughs> right. If you go, if you have DNS over HTTPS effectively, so we're gonna go through port 443 first, 
to get the DNS answer effectively. And then once we get the IP address, it will be encrypted. Nobody going to sniff it in the middle. All right. And then I'm going to get the Google's IP address. Then I turn around and connect to actually port 443, but on the actual target server. So that's one case. You might be a little bit more savvy and you don't believe in HTTPS. Uh, you don't believe in DNS over HTTPS because you want to redirect uh, network traffic and you believe that DNS traffic should be identified. DNS traffic cannot be identified if it's in HTTPS, right? And you have this fancy thing that's called DNS over TLS, which runs on, guess what? It's port 853. Easy to remember. 53, just add 8, right? So in that case, the answer could be 853. So some people might call me out on this one as well, <laughs> right? So there are many, many answers. That's why I said the most appropriate answer. It really depends on the configuration at the end of the day. And there are more, might be other things that the browser is doing before the request that I don't even know, to be honest. I never wrote a browser before, right? So yeah, so I might be even wrong. So maybe there must be something even before DNS that Chrome does. I don't know. It queries the list to find the list of appropriate you know, autocomplete list. Who knows? I don't know. But that's basically the most, let's say, practical, most appropriate answer that I can think of. Hope you enjoyed this video. I'm going to see you on the next one. You guys stay awesome. Goodbye.